only on two shoe stores in the Houston area are being targeted by thieves and it's all caught on camera. We're talking with business owners who are fed up with the crime. KPRC 2's Brandon Walker is live in the Montrose area with that story. Brandon. Yeah, and Keith, if you know, you know, shoes like these dunks, they're rare and in some cases can be very expensive. The crooks know that for sure, and that's why store owners say in many cases they've been showing up to these shoe stores, breaking in, taking off with tens of thousands of dollars in inventory. The alarm served as encouragement for the crooks to put a little pep in their step. Seven total arms full of shoes and other items worth top dollar. Popped our locks off on the bottom. Even leaving behind the crowbar they used, said Casey Dixon, owner of Club Never at 2M in Fairview in Montrose. Our rough estimates around $25,000. $25,000 worth of inventory stolen on August 21st. Surveillance photos show a tattoo on one man's arm, another wearing a jacket other store owners say they've seen before. They know what boxes to look for. Joseph Garza says they did just that. <laughs> Popping the door off of its hinges Sunday at Future Retro along the Washington corridor. Their big get, these rare expensive shoes pictured here in a case which tonight is empty. Near like $30,000 on just probably like a good 20 30 pairs. At least five sneaker shops have been hit since May. Four of them in August alone, say store owners, including Urban Goods north of downtown at Quitman and North Main, where they used a truck to pull off the door last night. Store owners say enough is enough. It's just really deflating to kind of like pour everything into it and then, you know, in and out in probably less than three minutes, people can do that amount of damage to you. Yeah, because in many cases we are talking about essentially mom and pop businesses. They are privately owned, and so these business owners are dealing with this tonight. Many of them also banding together, offering a $15,000 reward for any information that could prove useful. Along those lines, HPD is investigating. You're also asked to give them a call. Live for you tonight in Montrose, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.